Hello, welcome to Bonnyhood Snow Farm. It's a pleasure to have you today. Just as you know, we always provide very useful videos for your learning purposes, and today is another day for you to learn extensively on how you can reduce your cost of feeding your snails. I've made a lot of posts about reducing cost of feeding snails on my Facebook platform, Bonnyhood Snow Farm, using different food sources. But today, I'm going to make a more extensive compilation of foods. In the part 1 of this video, I talked about sweet potato as a case study. And there I talked about how you can serve your snails with sweet potato and their pills. And how you can save a lot of money feeding your snails effectively. Without compromising the effect and usefulness of the food nutritional content. In the part 1 of this video, I talked about sweet potato specifically because sweet potato can be the best source of food for snails uh, that could help you save a lot of money. Why? Because it is easy to source, it is cheaper and then most times you can get it for free if you know what to do. Like in that video, I talked about how you can get it but, uh, for free but in this video, I will still talk on it so you can also have this uh, pills for free and reduce cost effectively unlike the other video where i talked about only uh, sweet potato this video i'm going to be talking about a lot of other food stuffs that could help to reduce cost i'll be talking about uh, the sweet potato which i've talked about i've talked about plantain pills i'll talk about apples i'll talk about vegetables and any other possible thing i can discuss today in this video that's why i said from the beginning that this is a very uh, comprehensive video on how you can reduce cost of feeding your snails and effectively and yet still having the, the required results so all this being said i have to remind you that snail farming is easy and cost effective only when you understand the feeding of the snails if you are able to effectively manage the feeding of your snails using the right feed combination or food combination to reduce cost and not shortchanging the quality of the food they eat. This is the only way you can achieve both effective growth, proper egg laying and then also reduce cost in management of your farm. You may want out if all the feed your snails eat are bought with money. This is why it's very important that you take this video extremely serious. Firstly, let's talk about vegetables and leaves. One of the easiest way to curtail costs in farming your snail is to ensure that you have access to vegetables and leaves. And you don't have to buy these vegetables and leaves always from the market or from other farms. If you do that, you will hardly make any profit. Also understanding that raising a snail from baby snail to point of lay or to table size or to jumbo takes a lot of time. And if care is not taken, you may end up losing instead of making profit. So no matter how small your farm is, Always ensure you have a little space to plant vegetables and leaves. Vegetables like ugo, the pumpkin leaf, water leaf, cocoyam leaf, and most importantly, plant purpose. Because the purple leaf is one of the most useful leaves for so many snail farmers. Green leaves are very, very helpful for reducing costs in snail farming. But if you don't have any space at all to plant these leaves, it is still easy because most of these leaves are seen growing around our premises, especially the green leaf. You, had, you see it most times wasted just growing around. So you can go around getting these leaves, pluck them, wash them, and serve them to your snails. And also for purple leaf, it is also easy to get purple leaf because most times they are seen growing around in uh, different places, sometimes just by the roadside, mostly without owners. But then if all these options are not available to you, the next thing is, is to buy the leaves. 
it is very cheap you can get uh, a whole load of them and at a very cheap price and uh, there is a way you can preserve them out maybe in my next video i'll talk about that you can preserve these leaves although not for so long but you can prepare them for some number of days some good number of days and then use them for your farm secondly we'll be talking about plantain peels plantain peels are also very effective in cost reduction in snail farming these peels are served in different ways which i will talk about even if not in this video in the subsequent videos but meanwhile we're talking about cost reduction and how these things can be sourced so as for plantain it's very easy to source um, in most parts of nigeria you see people uh, who deal some plantains who roast plantain or who fries plantains the peels are packed in a sack or in a basket most of the time and then they are thrown away at the end of the day but then these people doing these businesses does not understand that these pills could save a lot of money for a snail farmer and the snail farmer understanding that maximizes that opportunity and gets these things for free totally for free i say this with boldness because i have been getting these these things for free for a very long time all what you do is if you want to keep getting these things for free once in a while you just appreciate the, the supplier of these things maybe buy him card or buy her card you know give him little thing tell him thank you that's just it and with as little as that you can have enough uh, food for your snails to eat for days weeks or even months so that's a very effective way to feed your snails without stressing yourself out these pills can just be served to the snails after thoroughly washing in different changes of water the washing is very necessary because a lot of things comes with these peels you definitely see onion inside after sprinkling salt on their food they will have to splash the waste back to the peels uh, you will see orange peels you see uh, and several other things that could possibly harm your snails so the washing is very very important at least you must wash them in nothing less than three changes of water three to four five changes of water you wash in water one wash in two wash in three wash in four until four five at least in that way we are certain that whatever uh salt or whatever seasoning that has been uh in the pills must have been thoroughly taken care of or must have reduced its effect to a minimum level so getting these pills will save you a lot of money and it will make snail farming interesting for you next we'll be talking about fruits a lot of fruits can be gotten from the market from the wholesalers the dealers who deals on these products in large quantities sometimes you can have so much that you have to throw some away because what you see as a source of reducing cost for you could be a waste to another person so you can just fit in in that space and save money for yourself so there are a lot of fruits you can get for free or almost free uh, watermelon cucumber apples and several other fruits these fruits are thoroughly washed please we need to be very careful about the washing just like i said you there are a lot of things you see inside those pills a lot of things that could kill your snails you could find inside those pills so you have to be extremely careful while washing make sure you sort those fruits or sort the pills or whatever you are serving your snails sort them properly as long as they are not from you are not the source of those things Please sort them carefully so you don't give your snails onion or uh, orange peels to eat which could harm them in large numbers so always consider the safety of your snails while sorting these goods all right so let's briefly talk about eggshell egg eggshells are easily gotten uh, from bakeries confectionaries and uh, several 
other kitchens almost for free. You can as well keep the ones you use in your house, tell your neighbors to keep for you, tell your friends to keep for you, tell your family members to keep for you. As difficult as it looks, it is extremely very easy to get these things. Just be open enough to discuss these things with the people who deals on these things. You'll be surprised how easy it will for you to get them. And you know, funny enough, this could also be a business for uh, other snail farmers. You can actually sort for these things if they're present in your location. You sort for plantain peels, sort for potato peels. You can dry them thoroughly. You package them and sell them at good prices. You get them for free or almost for free and sell them and make money for yourself. So snail farming is very large. It's very huge. So uh, there are a lot of sources of money. If you if you put your head down, you can actually make money out of snail farming. While you wait for snails to mature, you can actually do several other things, a lot of things. Like in my post on Facebook, I've mentioned a lot of businesses you can do while you wait for your snails to mature. Next, I'll talk about potato peels. This is my favorite. Because I serve my snails more potatoes than any other food. I serve my snails potato or potato peels at least twice in a week. The reason is that potatoes are cheap to buy if you want to and they are also uh, you can actually get them for free totally for free even in large quantities. Aside getting them for free potatoes are also very easy to preserve just as usual you can get the potato peels you can wash them thoroughly just as I've explained before and you dry them under the sun or in the oven or any possible way just to make them make sure they are very dried and then you can serve them to the snails just moisturize them and put them in the pan for the snails to eat and again you can as well uh, choose to grind them to powder and use you can simply make a paste add the powder in a plate add some water you mix and serve for them to eat and let me say the last of the last is how you can make your own feed formulated feed by yourself to save cost if you must save cost in feeding your snails in this business you must make your own feed by yourself you can get all your materials by yourself mill them together make sure your ratio is very accurate so that you don't experience bloating or low egg output because if you make a wrong formula of your of your feed it will affect your snails adversely so take your time to learn how to create your own formula you know i am not of the opinion that you just go and get a formula somewhere and begin to trace the formula and you know use for your own purpose i advise and strongly encourage that every snail farmer should learn how to create his own formula okay create your own formula if you create your own formula you'll be able to maneuver the the materials used in the formula you can make replacement of the of the count of the nutrients used and still get a good result out of it over 90 percent of farmers get their formulas online but you can actually learn how to create your own formula it's not that too difficult if you just put your head down it's just a simple arithmetic you know understanding the ratios and the nutrients that are involved in the feed making once you get that done it will be easy for you to create your own feed you can create your own formula you can create different kind of formulas with different materials and still have the same effective results so get up and go for knowledge if this is your first time reaching the channel kindly subscribe to the channel click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload useful videos thank you for watching